Cheryl. Cheryl, I've had an idea. Look, no, I didn't have any luck. I contacted the executive producer and as far as they are concerned, Heather Trot was dead, is dead and will be dead and they're not bringing your character back. But I've had another really good idea. We need to make you a household name and we need Cheryl Ferguson, your name, to be on everybody's lips and I've had an idea. Do you know like, um, what's his name, Barry, Sean Williamson and Ricky Gervais? I've had a brilliant, brilliant idea. I'll be right back. Cheryl Ferguson's so, agent, Chalmers. Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. I have managed to get you a role on a new series that's coming out and you will be working for the god of comedy, the chief sitting bull, the creme de la creme, the... No, not Ricky Gervais. No, no, better than Ricky Gervais. I have got you a role in a series. No. No, not French and Saunders. It's better than French and Saunders. Catherine Bloody Tate. Catherine Bloody Tate. Catherine Bloody Tate. She met you at awards do years and years ago when she was an unknown and you were really, really nice to her apparently. And um, she heard on the grapevine that you were looking for work and she, and she wants you. And she wants you just to play you. I can't breathe. I just can't breathe. Hi, Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. Hi, Amy, me. Um, just wanted to say, just got off the phone with Catherine Tate's people. They've changed it from Greece to West Side Story. Filming starts on Monday. They're going to send you over a copy of the... Um, the scripts and the music on Friday. If you can just brush up on West Side Story um, because you're going to be basically a director within the show teaching the whole of West Side Story. Because if, if you can just quickly learn, learn, learn the script and all the parts and the music by Monday. That would be fabulous, darling. Okay, love you, bye. Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. Um, just had Catherine's people on the phone. They want to use your belligerence about everybody associating you with Heather Trot. Um, and I said, that's fine. Oh, I said, Cheryl's ever so easy going. And she's um, happy to uh, happy to laugh at herself. She's got broad shoulders. Hope that's okay. Okay then. All right then. Bye. Love you. Bye. Hi, Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. So, um, just heard back from um, Catherine. She loved doing the workshop with you the other day just to um, make sure that the, the script was authentic in, in your voice. She, um, she says that you effed and jeffed a bit more than she remembered. And I sort of battered that way and I said, oh, yes, um, she's very authentic, very gritty. And but she likes that about you apparently. And um, she's put the, she's put a C-bomb in the first episode. Um, I did say that I would just get that cleared away for you if just check that you were okay to say the C-bomb. Yeah, yeah, and she makes a bit of a reference to you looking like um, an inmate, but that, I said that wouldn't bother you, that wouldn't bother you. I said Cheryl's got broad shoulders. Um, it's got a fantastic sense of humour and uh, great, great. All right, okay. I'll, I'll let Catherine know that, that that that's more than okay. Okay, lots of love. See you soon. Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. Um, I did get on to the Golden Globes. You know, they've had Ricky Gervais for seven or eight years. And I said my Cheryl can be equally as belligerent. And um, they seem to be all over that. So I'll see if I can set something up for you. Well, Cheryl, 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 Taron Edgerton and his people have been on the phone. They've got a film coming up. Um, they'd quite like you to play the baddie. 
I said, oh, Cheryl would love that. That would be such a departure from Heather Trott. Um, so much fun, fun playing a baddie, isn't it, in a pantomime or whatever. Um, but it would be like a James Bond-esque type villain. So got that that's come through for you. Yes, I'm just having an argument with Catherine's people about the billing. Yes, she did write, produce and play eight characters in it. Uh, but to my mind, you are the star of the show, my love. I'm trying to get a bigger font in a brighter colour and for it to be on the screen a little bit longer. Spoiler alert, Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. I've just read your last episode. It turns out that it's a bit of a comic tragedy. Well worth watching Cheryl Ferguson in Hard Sell on Netflix. Binge watch the entire series. You will never guess the ending. Cheryl, 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 I am so sorry I made you learn the whole Libretto, librato, potato, potato for uh, West Side Story. They've decided to go with a collaborative devised piece. Um, and I said, oh yeah, Cheryl will do that. Cheryl's marvellous. She's got a bit of a background in karaoke down at the local Chinese. And I think she taught for a while at a rough comprehensive school out Hall. Hey, I want to say Hayes. I don't know. Um, and um, I said, yeah, Cheryl will be all over that. She loves a good sing song, does our Cheryl. And um, what I think you should do, Cheryl, because you've got to uh, devise it, is um, try and rip off one of the songs, one of the songs from Bad Girls. You were marvellous in that with the Yately Amateur Dram Society. And I think, um, I think that will be a good one um, to go with. Just change the words to fit whatever the message is. There'll be a guy called Martin there who's a very accomplished musical director. Um, he'll be your sidekick, I gather. Not the best pianist in the world. But you know, he takes what you get, don't you? Good morning, my darlings. How are you? I have dyed my hair this morning, and as you can see, I've also successfully dyed my forehead. I will be removing that later on with um, a little bit of apparently nail polish remover. Um, just rubs my Nivea in, You're trying to get a bit of a tan today. Beautiful rays here in the UK. Not going to stay out here too long, just enough to get a little bit of vitamin D. Um, just want to say I've been doing some fun satire skits, a satire, satire skits of a satire by Catherine Tate in which Cheryl Ferguson satires herself. Um, so um, do watch it on Netflix. I binged watch the entire series. Catherine Tate, as usual, is absolutely um, fabulous. Um, and Cheryl Ferguson, I love the authenticity and the simplicity of her um, performance and it's a little bit edgy and um, incredibly real um, really liking the style of Cheryl fantastic so yeah if you if you're looking for something to binge watch later on or over the Easter bank holiday I would thoroughly recommend watching Hard Sell on Netflix starring the fabulous Catherine Tate but also featuring the wonderful Cheryl Ferguson. So I have come inside now. It's too blinking hot outside for me. We're never happy, are we, the British? It's either too hot, too cold. Loving my Pepsi at the moment. Pepsi Max is my favourite. This one's a Diet Pepsi, multi-pack. Um, just to say, I have never met Cheryl Ferguson and um, I'm certainly not her confidant or her agent to avoid any um, confusion in on here. Um, the character was merely a satire. I haven't hashtagged anyone in or added anyone, um, but if you liked my latest skits, um, please do 
share them or duet to them um it would be a joy to know that i've made you laugh and that you felt they were worthy of a, a like a share um and a follow now i don't know whether to do i've been chatting to people that have millions of followers on here and apparently you can buy followers i don't really want to do that i only follow people that have liked one of my posts because i want to develop a fan base that is um organic and real we're quite a nice little community on on here and when i flick through my home page to see all of your posts um i see that we kind of shared like a similar sense of um self and a similar sense of humor so i don't really want to um do that um but if you like any of my posts please do share them and i'll obviously return the favor to you if you need me to um like or share any of your posts um to up your number of followers i'm happy to do that and to to help you um so yeah just wanted to have a chat with you about that also do, if anybody knows can you please comment below do you know how to do like the tab bars at the top because my tiktok page is looking like a little bit of a mishmash of everything and i want to like do the file dividers at the top of my tiktok page so i can put the same sorts of things together um because it's my um page is looking a bit of a mishmash and i want to just sort of order it and organize it so it's um different audio visuals are filed in clumps of the same thing as it were i haven't explained that very well but you know what i mean but anyway i hope everyone's having a good easter um mark's watching the football this afternoon but hopefully we'll be going out this evening i've had to come inside it's too blinking hot for me um never happy i'll be the british i have too hot too cold anyway cheers my dears and have a good easter